Hello friends, my name is Luke Gerlach with Think Chat, and I'm super excited to announce a new project that I've been working on to help older readers that are hesitant um, to read and to find a place where they can see themselves in the text. And what do I mean by that? As an upper elementary primary teacher for most of my career, it really broke my heart when a kiddo left my care without finding that one book that sang to their soul, that resonated to who they were and their story, because it's all about creating opportunities to develop learner identity. And that is my aim, is how do we then find texts that are culturally relevant, that speak to a wide variety of cultural viewpoints, while also highlighting some of the similarities. So I am gathering texts from all over. Um, my first book is actually one of my favorite reads of all time. It's called Seven Daughters and Seven Sons. This book is so magical. I discovered it actually um, in the first year of teaching. You can see how yellow the pages are um, in some areas. You know, the binding is coming through. And for the longest time, it was out of print. And I'm so glad to see that there are copies available for Amazon so I can get me another one. But this text follows an 11th century oral tradition from Iraq. So beautiful. There are no chapters. It's just three parts. And it follows the story of this girl named Buran, who is um, the daughter of Malik. And in Islam and in Arabian culture, um, you have where there are different gifts that you receive basically for having a boy versus a girl. And there's one brother that has seven sons and one that has seven daughters. And the contrast of their lives based on having people to help them, you know, grow their business. And so it's kind of a Mulan-esque tale of where one of the daughters um, hides herself and is able to go off through an entrepreneurial spirit and save the family from destitution. So beautiful. I just love this book. I've already recorded a couple episodes. I'm so excited. It's literally, um, I will post the link here below in the description so that you can go to it. But I'm planning to record um, majority of those book uh, within the next couple of weeks. I can just go boop, 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 boop. And so you don't have a delay in listening. I hope you love it. I hope you share it with your students um, so that they find a book that speaks to them. As an adult who is Korean, German, American, it took me a very long time to find texts that represented who I was. And when I first read the picture book, My Name is Yoon, I cried because that was finally my story in print. And that story I discovered three years ago. Three years. It took me 47 years to find a text that spoke to me about my story as a child. And imagine that being the story of our children. And there's a lot more challenges today than there ever has been. And so we have to find stories that speak to our learners. And nothing's better than speaking to the heart of our older learners. So I hope um, you and your learners will join me on this fantastic new journey. And I can't wait to hear your ideas. If you have some book suggestions, please, um, pop them um, into the chat. Please also, um, you can uh, send me a message on Twitter at ThinkChat2020 or on LinkedIn at Lou Gerlach, L-U-G-E-R-L-A-C-H. Thank you so much.